Now question is the lower end of a capillary tube of diameter. So see here diameter is given. So uh, we can write radius 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter is dipped 8 centimeter below the surface of water in a beaker. So here uh, that uh, H is equal to 8 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter. What is the pressure required in the tube in order to blow a hemispherical bubble at the end in water? Right. The surface tension of water at temperature of the experiment surface tension that is S is equal to 7.3 into 10 raised to minus 2 Newton meter inverse. One atmospheric pressure will be there. Density of water is given. G is given. Calculate the excess pressure. See first of all. Uh, that formula to find that that is pi minus po is equal to 2s upon r right now first of all we have to find po po means pa plus rho gh right so pa pa is nothing but atmospheric pressure 1.01 .01 into 10 raised to 5 then rho density density is also given uh, density of water is 1000 so 10 raised to 3 into g right so uh, g value that is 9.8 into h h is 8 into 10 raised to minus 2 so we will get our answer right so here 9.8 into 8 that is 78.4 right 78.4 into 10 raised to 3 right so 10 raised to 3 10 raised to minus 2 so here uh, by completing this we will get PO then after PO we have to put in this formula right so PI minus PO is equal to 2 into S now what is S 7.3 into 10 raised to minus 2 upon r r is the radius 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 right so we will get uh, pi right because we know now po so pi and po both we know after that this pi minus po this difference right is our excess pressure and that will be 146 pascal so our final answer excess pressure is 146 pascal now earlier question is what is the pressure required in the tube in order to blow hemispherical bubble at the end of water that value is pi because that pressure we are finding for in from inside so that is pi right and excess pressure we need to find the uh, change of this pressure so pi minus po so that will be 146 pascal